Hey everybody, Steve Talon here. Today I want to talk about the fact that air conditioning is sexist. No, I'm not making this up. Sky News, which is a 24-hour news channel in the United Kingdom, recently interviewed Rahika Shangani, I believe is how you pronounce her name, where she said that air conditioning is sexist because women cannot wear summer dresses and sandals to work, or they will be too cold. Sky News portrayed this as actual news and not satire. Sky News is not the British version of The Onion. It is actual real news. So let's watch the clip. There it was. There I was thinking it was just me that had a problem, but it turns out it's the air conditioning that's sexist. How exactly can air conditioning be sexist? It's a machine. It is not self-aware. The people who set the AC can be sexist, but that doesn't mean the actual AC is sexist. I know. Um... So many women in our office have the exact same problem. You know, we just sit there absolutely freezing at our desks trying to type. Oh, I feel so bad for you. You poor thing. You are absolutely freezing at your desk while trying to type. What a hardship. My mother had horses when I was growing up. We had over 50 at one time. Regardless of how cold it was outside, the horses still needed to be fed. It's not like me or my mom can just say, well, it's too cold out. I guess I will skip feeding the horses. If my mother did that, the stables would be out of business. I remember one morning it was about minus 42 C or about minus 44 Fahrenheit. And guess what? I still had to go out and feed the horses. There were also several mornings when I woke up. And while this is not the exact picture, this is what greeted me when I looked out the window. Guess what? I still had to go feed the horses. So pardon me for not giving a crap about your piddly ass first world problem. Um, you can probably tell I've got a cold right now, which I blame all on the AC. You are blaming the fact that you have a cold on the AC. Obviously, you're not aware as to how you get the common cold. It may help spread the virus, but does not give you the cold. Um, and so it's just so actually quite nice to see this research. Um, it's just such a relief to know that there's actually proof that this is happening, that women, you know, do feel the cold more than men. A study that shows what we as humans have known all along. I love these studies that come out and prove things which we already know. There is a study that came out in 2014 that said, the more often you eat fast food, the fatter you likely are. Well, no fucking shit, Sherlock. And that the AC in offices is normally regulated more for a male's temperature than a woman's. So where in the air conditioner owner's manual doesn't instruct the operators to keep the temperature low to oppress women? And it's an explanation for these constant battles you'll see in offices right across the country uh, between the sexes for control of their office thermostat. Oh yeah, I remember those days at work when men and women would have to gang up on each other and fight to death over control of the fucking AC. Yeah, exactly. And I think, you know, one of the biggest problems is that often in offices, it is men who control temperatures. You know, that's just something I've found anecdotally. So why have you not taken this up with management? I also find it interesting how, anecdotally, that often in offices, it is men that have to do all the heavy lifting, repair jobs, and climbing under the desk to fix your computer because you knocked the power cord lo loose with your three-inch stilettos that match your summer dress. Um, and because majority of the men in offices seem to be absolutely fine with the temperatures, you know, women kind of just sit there on the corner feeling absolutely frozen. In the last office I worked at, we actually didn't have control over the AC. It was controlled by another company in another city. I know, fucking stupid, right? Well, on those days when the AC was on Arctic freeze, do you know how people who found it a little bit too cold would do? They would put on a sweater, but I guess that's gender-based oppression. And, you know, often, like, actually, nothing's being done to help them. Aw, oh, poor baby. Your first world problems makes you so oppressed. And you know, it might sound like a bit of a silly, light-hearted issue, but- Yes. Yes, it does. But actually, it's really uncomfortable being freezing at your desk. Oh, if there was only something that could be done about it! Every day, um, take it from me. Talking to your boss or putting on a sweater is not at all acceptable. No, I, I, I know I experience the same because what I've often found is you go in on a really hot summer's day, you're wearing summer clothes, you go into an office and it's absolutely freezing. Uh, I think even for some men it must be too cold. I don't understand why air conditioning is often so cold. Isn't it obvious? Men are trying to freeze women out of the office. So what you have to do is then take a jumper in with you and put that jumper on in order to be able to function. Oh my god, a solution to the problem. Yeah, 
Honestly, I think so many women listening now are going to just be nodding their heads thinking, yes, that is exactly my reality. I wonder how many people are in disbelief that this is actually on the fucking news. You know, we joke at work that we actually can't dress fashionably anymore for summer because you actually just can't go in in sandals. You can't go in in a summer dress because you're going to have to put on the jumper or the emergency cardigan. I thought you worked at an office. It's work, not a goddamn fashion parade. <laughs> Fuck me. Um, so, yeah, it, it is quite frustrating, especially when you then go out on your lunch break or your commute home and you're absolutely boiling outside. And I think there is a bit of a problem when it's warmer outside than it is inside your office. Do you know what the AC is supposed to do? Do you understand its primary function? So what's the solution then? Because we can't have men overheating in the offices, can we? No, I think we just need a bit more flexibility. You know, I think it is just essentially common sense. So if you know, an office is noticing that a number of women are complaining about the cold, they need to be more flexible, you know, they need to actually kind of lower it. So you want to screw over anyone who might feel too warm after. <laughs> oh God, feminists say the darndest things. And not just say that all oh, the men are fine, you know, now there is actually proof that this is, this is actually an issue. I think they need to kind of take women's considerations into account and you know what, maybe there can be more flexibility with men not having to wear suits in some offices. So everyone else except you has to change. Entitled little brat, aren't you? And they can come in in t-shirts or whatever they need to be the right temperature. You are the one complaining here. Why do you demand that everyone else change for you? Fuck, you must have been one hell of a spoiled kid. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Steve Tell, I'm out.